Welcome back, everybody, and we are back. Finally, season five Finally. of The Lookout, episode 35 of The Lookout. My name is Mills. I'm here with the Platinum Chanel boy, Jeff himself. What are, so, how's so. things going, Jeff? It's great, man. Really good, dude. Um, I'm, I'm, j- I'm just really glad that we finally got a point to talk about this because we, I think two seasons ago, we were, mm-hmm. you know, we wanted this to win uh, so that we could actually discuss it and it didn't, but we're here now. So I'm really, I'm right. really excited. So we definitely, we had a poll of what would win in terms of just like arcs we wanted to do. And I think what ended up winning was the Boo Saga. I don't know how that yeah. happened. I don't um, know how that happened either. But, but yeah. you know what? We're here. We, we, every, we're going to get to that anyway, just as we get into this anyway. So this season of The Lookout, you know, every season we go over a different Dragon Ball art. This season, we're going over the Dragon Ball Saga. And we have a guest on the line. Actually, we're going over the Tian Shinhan Saga, but we have a guest on the line. We have a very important guest. I want to say it. He's the father of yeah. Godric, but the son of a shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> It is Rainy. Shout out to Rainy. Yeah. He was on Two Belts a couple years ago. Hey, hey. What's good, y'all? Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Listen, bro, we had to have you on, man. I, you're the... As far as people who discuss anime on my timeline, I'd say you're probably one of the more opinionated people. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I don't know. <laughs> but, but, it, but it's awesome, though. It's awesome because I just followed you, like, maybe two, three weeks ago. And I was like, oh, okay. I see now. I see. Right. You're one of the more opinionated people because you don't critique you don't critique anime is that like this was a this was a good bad episode this was a bad episode you critique it as like an entire thing as like a, a body of work a yeah. body of work yeah. and, and, and let me know what are you what is your general like like what what's your idea of a good anime like what's your idea my my idea of a good anime is number Number one, I mean, this is for sort of any any kind of storytelling, but for anime specifically, I think um, it's very important that you don't treat me like an idiot. Right. It's very important that, like, whatever IP it is that I'm lending my time and my efforts to does not treat me like I'm stupid and, like, spoon feeds me stuff, you know? Hmm. Um, that's that's right. one thing. But anime is pretty good about that. I think it always has been, at least for me. Right. Another thing is... Um, if you're in it for the money, it's a hundred and twenty-five thousand percent obvious. If if you're making a long-running shonen for and you're and you're stretching it as far as it can possibly go, that like that says to me that you that you realized okay, my idea is super profitable. How can we continue to profit off of it? And that right. that's that's when stories start to sort of lose their traction because it becomes more about making revenue and less about telling the story right so that's kind of what i look for in 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 anime is sort of i guess the opposite of those things Mm -hmm. which is why i tend to gravitate towards shorter sort of uh you know single arc anime if you will I mean, it sounds like you you taking shots at One Piece. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. I'm okay. Hey, bro, with bro, bro, you. no, listen, I'm, I'm I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. So I'm with. I, I understand. Like when you were when you were talking about, it, I'm sitting here like my my dog out here talking about One Piece, right? Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I oh. mean, isn't it funny? Like that's what I we're mean, talking about. Like, really? So, that so is, he, the, the description was One Piece. Just. I now. mean, you're you're 100 correct. I mean, there are great animes that are just like compacted to a few episodes. I mean, just yes. a few months ago, Jeff got me on Full Metal Alchemist, and I'm just like, whoa, this is like next. This is kind of like, yo, this is this is deep. It's a deep, and you it's almost a lot. like, yeah, you 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 almost forget that it's an anime, right? Yes, you know? yes. I'm like, yo, this would have been a sick movie. I mean, yeah. it's out being a little bit long, but like, yeah. you know. Well, I, I just know, like, Mills is like, he, he really, he loves my hero. And I was like, man, like, there's a lot of things you need and to Rainey does not love my hero. And, you know, it is fine. Well, Mil- what, what, but what have I told you about? My, even me. I even you. I know, I know you're not you know a full fan you know of that. it. Yes. <laughs> well, it's, that. So, like, it is what it is, but it's just one of those things that we've talked about. Like, yo, you just check out these, check out these, and and then you know you'll 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 just get to see the the difference. I want you to watch Parasite next. I've been telling you. you need to watch yeah, Parasite. dude, Parasite Parasite is fucking bonkers. Oh my god, Parasite it's so good, is dude. absolutely ridiculous. Like, like it's it's like the perfect size. It's like the perfect length too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Yeah, it's super fucking great. It's really perfect. But, um, 
yeah i but here's the thing like when i i think that maybe maybe it's maybe this is my fault because of the the particular language that i use when i tweet this stuff but if i pan something or like if i you know if i if i if i sort of I guess it, if it seems like I'm bullying a certain anime or a certain IP or whatever, mm-hmm. um, it's not always the case that I hate it or dislike it. It's just that, you know, even that, like, because I, I like My Hero. I'm caught up. I, I watched all of it. Oh, okay. You know? Turn up. Yeah, I, I like the show. Do I love it? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, loving is a, it's a different thing. I man. absolutely fucking do not love my hero academia and the reason i don't love my hero academia is because it's the most shonen ass shonen i've (laughs) ever seen it is is. i've ever seen in my entire life it's a clear money maker yo you can you can you know it though you can see it and and like yo it's like okay okay what's the most money-making american production in the world before before my hero comes out boom avengers what does that have Mm -hmm. to do with superheroes okay what's the most popular anime of the last 10 years uh let's see one piece naruto dbz bleach okay how do we take elements of all those things and put super popular shonen with uh multi-million dollar or almost billion dollar i guess uh industrial fucking uh uh superhero making machine you put those things together and you get my hero Hmm. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's super successful. I mean, you, know, you, can't, of co- you can't go to Hot Topic or wherever it, to see yeah. t-shirts. Yeah, bro, so, of you know, course, I get it. of course. It's gonna, but that's the thing, like, there's a formula. There's a very clear formula, and they follow it. Fairy Tale does the same shit. The only thing with Fairy Tale is that Fairy Tale is one of those super popular anime that nobody wants to admit that they like because people who, because <laughs> people Don't who are me. super... People who are super into anime hate Fairy Tale, mm. but for some reason, it's one of the highest, like the most popular anime in the last ten years. Hmm. You know, Fairy Tale gets a lot of love through like everything too. Like, yeah. I, for me, you know, I don't, I don't know if, if Mills will tell you, but like Hunter Hunter is my life. So oh, yeah, that's all I like. That really like to me, it's the, it's, like it's that's it, that's everything for me. You know, mm-hmm. like so. It, it, when I look at it, it's, I get kind of pissy if I walk into a store. I'm like, yeah, I want some, I want some Hunter Hunter merch in America. And we just started getting some like past year, but like, yeah. And it's only because of tsunami, thank God. But you yeah. know, before that, I couldn't find anything. I got stuff off eBay and, and stuff like that. And of yeah. course, I, I walk into the store and I got, uh, uh, you know, One Punch Man everywhere and my yeah. hero. And I'm like, shit, man, I need some, I need some my merch. Like, what yeah, my you at? need some fucking, you need some Hunter Hunter plushies. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh my exactly. god! Yeah, I legitimately just started One Punch Man the other day. Nah, man, you, you, hey, listen, you find shit when you find it, bro. Right. That's yeah. I'm not, yeah. I'm not one of those people. Like, I'm not one of those elitists that would be like, oh, you just started watching that. So, <laughs> yeah. Like, no, that's rude. Like, that man. is so. Up. That is so corny, bro. Like, like you didn't write the shit. You right. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, it's cool. Like, you, if you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it. And plus, yeah. anime. This is probably the most popular it's been ever. You know, ever just in general. So. In history. Are I'm not history? surprised if like somebody hasn't seen Hunter Hunter and then you see it and you realize the beauty yeah. in it and that's awesome. Like I actually love it more if yeah. I just got somebody into it. You know? And what's funny is like, uh, what's funny is like just a, a quick point is like, um, you know the the anime community on Twitter. People call it anti Twitter, but I don't know. And I feel like anti Twitter and then people who watch anime on Twitter are two very different worlds. <laughs> are two very different worlds because anti Twitter is anime avi people who have no pictures of themselves in yeah, their media <laughs> and right. and talk reckless as shit on the TL. Right. right. That's any Twitter. People on Twitter who watch anime are real are proven real life human beings that are not bots because they make moves and are seen with other people in photos. Like <laughs> like right. that's what they are. That's but real. um but I think I think like you know uh, anime Twitter sort of kind of comes you know they they harp on these kind of people a lot where it's like oh so what you got picked on in middle school for watching anime like get over it but it's like nah man not really because i had to sort of be in the closet about this shit right right. you know what i mean like like or else like i got beat up and shit you know now all the stuff that like all the stuff that we was into and we was wearing and we was drawing in middle school that's like the norm now like uzi is praised 
for dressing exactly the way I did in ninth grade. <laughs> I mean, it's real. That's Ex- real, man. <laughs> Explain that shit to me. That's and I, and, real, and, and, bro. And, 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 I, and I don't know, and I don't know how much. How that what bothers me about it is like, I'm not sure how much, you know, you're really watching it. Like, as exactly. A, as a, yeah. Yeah, like, like, is it is it just cool for you? Like, you want to make a necklace out of it? You want to make a chain out of it? A bust down out of it? That's right. dope. Whatever. Mills, but I know you saw. I know you saw. Uh, 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 Sweetie's chain. You see Sweetie's chain? No, I haven't. Wait, what's going on? Wait, what did she do? I think she's got like a Sailor Moon chain. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, and it's, okay. it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, it's like, it's actually fire. It's like actually really fire. It's a good, it's, it's a dope piece. I'm just, huh. I, just, I, I just, I like for me, I'm not like I don't want to judge her obviously, but like I hope she's like really a fan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th- that was the same. I think um, Megan the Stallion got a lot of love because. Her favorite MHA character is Todoroki. Yeah, yeah and yeah, then she yeah. dyed her hair like it. In but some I believe movie. her because that only makes she. I, I feel like she, she wouldn't just know that. Yeah, it's a yeah exactly like it's a slippery slope. Like mm-hmm. it's one of those things where it's like okay, how much are you into it really? But then you don't want to come off as like a gatekeeping no, queen. Yeah, yeah, I don't right. hate on her. You know, like, like it's yeah, cool. like you don't want to be like oh well, you can't like my thing because I was into it this long ago and blah blah blah. But then like then I got to thinking. It's like, okay, what if what if all the people that bullied us in high school liked it all along and since right. it's and since it's cool to admit it now, now they feel comfortable in their own skin and like they feel comfortable talking about anime, liking anime and shit like that. And then like that's when I kind of, you know, that's the full purpose then. I guess it works yeah. out. You know, you just call it what it is and you move on. Yeah, like that's that's kind of how I see it now. Um, but yeah, like before, I used to be so bitter, bro. Like I used to be like, man, y'all know shit about no goddamn anime. Y'all know shit about no goddamn anime, bro. Bro, <laughs> I completely understand, bro. What 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 we like to do when we start the show, especially when we got first time guests on. I want to get your Dragon Ball story. I want to know when did you first? Do you have memories of first watching it? I do. Do you, do you remember when you first watching it? How old were yep. you? What the grade was? What's your yep. like? Talk about it, bro. Yep. Okay. So this is going to throw you guys for a loop because of my voice and what I sound like. Mm -hmm. And because I have no accent and I sound like Siri. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But English is not my first language. Okay. Yeah. Spanish is my second language. You know how I learned English? How? Watching watching DBZ at my grandma's house. Wow, Whoa. that's huh. incredible. That's kind of like uh, I'm not even gonna hold you. That's kind of how I learned Spanish a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z was definitely on Telemundo, <laughs> <laughs> and I would definitely watch it. And they have those high pitched voices, <laughs> like, <laughs> like those type of deal. Like I remember that specifically. Oh so this God. is great. This is yeah. great. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, because I I lived. What it is was like. So my mom worked super late, right? Mm-hmm. And the uh, she worked super late at a restaurant that was closer to my grandma's house than it was to our own house. And then even like early on in those days, I think it was like kindergarten or something like that. In kindergarten, we were still living with my grandma for a little bit. Right. So I would get obviously like, you know, she worked at a restaurant. She worked late. That's mm-hmm. when people go to dinner and shit and she can make her, the most of her bread. Um, so she would I, like I would come home from school sometimes like. With my grandma and I would show my grandma stuff. And my grandma had cable. We didn't. So I would love, like, I would beg to go to my grandma's. I'd be like, yo, like, I want to go to Tata's house. Like, we call her Tata. Mm-hmm. And be like, I go to Tata's house. Like, but obviously in Spanish. And um, before I went to kindergarten, my entire household was Spanish speaking because it was my mom, my grandma, two uncles, and my grandpa and me. And no one was the only people who were fluent in Spanish. I mean, the only people who were fluent in English, sorry, were my two uncles who who learned English uh, going to high school in the U.S., going to high school down the block. So they knew they oh. knew conversational <laughs> English. And shit. OK, right. Yeah. Right. So like they went to high school down the block, but they were also always out because they were they were like back in the day, like in the 90s and shit. Like, you know, it was it was it was more commonplace to have a job towards the end of high school still in high school Mm -hmm. you know like nowadays it's more like oh you know you you focus on school but then you get a summer job or you don't really work full time until you graduate high school right but back but back then it was like okay like you know you're you're 17 you're almost 18 you got to figure out what you're doing so you get a little job you know what i mean like you work after school and shit and then you go to school during the day so my my uncles did that and they weren't really home so i didn't really talk to them like that in english Mm. 
So I would come home uh, from kindergarten. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I sort of like all the menus and shit, like the television was in English, but my home was Spanish speaking. I just knew that Cartoon Network was channel 32 and I had to be home before <laughs> and I had to be home before four o'clock. Same. That's, that's all I knew. Oh, as long know. as Automatic. I was home, as long as I was home by four o'clock, no language barrier would keep me from channel 32. <laughs> <laughs> right. So so I would be there. Boom. In front of the TV. Right. And I'm very good with phonetics. So like I don't speak a lick of like Jamaican Patois at all. Mm-hmm. But I know like every popcorn song like ever made. Right. You know what I mean? Like because I'm very good with phonetics. Like I'm good at memorizing sounds even though I don't really know what they mean. So it started like that with DBZ. And I think that's DBZ is what started that sort of that trip, like what tripped that wire in my brain to sort of be as good as I am with phonetics. And I would, and it was like, it was like, it's hard to explain, but it was like the, like it was the Ginyu saga. That's like, that's like the freshest in my head. Mm. It was the Ginyu saga. So I'm, and keep in mind at this point, my older sister lives in DR, so I live alone. Like, I mean, I don't live alone. I'm fucking four years old, but you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like I'm with my grandma, and I'm in my grandma's house, sort of, like, kind of in the living room, just chilling by myself. So, like, Vegeta would say some shit like, insolent fool, and I would repeat that. <laughs> and I would repeat it and, and like, like, write it, like, in a paper. But I would say, like, the more I watched it, like, the more sort of context clues I got, like, okay, he says this word when he's pissed right he's, right like he says this word when he's laughing you know what i mean like shit mm-hmm. like that so you know one thing led to another and then on top of that uh my mom didn't put me in esl and nothing like that like because she wanted me to learn english the hard way right so i went i i lived in a spanish-speaking household went to an english-speaking school came home watched english cartoons and repeated the process every single day Man, until like years and yeah. years huh yeah, until I got as fluent as I am. I mean, that's check that awesome, out. Though, to be honest, yeah. yeah, I think that's that's if you're gonna learn English, man, that's that's the way to do it. Yeah, I and mean. then and 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 like, just like that's what I mean. Like like when people when I get on DBZ the way I do, or when I get on like just Dragon Ball in general, like the whole as a as a property, like to all the listeners and whoever will be watching after, you know what I mean? Like I don't hate Dragon Ball. Mm-hmm. Like Dragon Ball is the reason I know English. Like all the problems I have with Dragon Ball are come from a place of love and appreciation and growth since then. Right. You know, you, you just want to see it do better. Yeah. You know, so like, I, like, I don't know where this idea that like, I hate Dragon Ball comes from. Like I, people have Man, said you know that, what, like, bro? I don't, I'm going I'm to tell you what, bro. One thing that I've noticed is like, for whatever reason, Dragon Ball, people who like are whatever, hardcore, anime, whatever, they, for some reason, because I, maybe it's so popular, it is the one, I feel like, especially for in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, they kind of look down on like people who do love Dragon Ball. Yeah. And it's just like, well, you know, I, because of what it is and, and it's still anime. And yeah. I think because it's so popular and it's been around for so long for us and it kind of, we grew up with it. Yeah. It kind of people try to like frown down on it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but at the same time, like a lot of people, like a lot of people's definition, like, okay. Like if you, if, if the only anime you've ever seen is Dragon Ball Z, I'm sorry, you don't get an opinion on anime. <laughs> like it's like I mean, it's yeah. like, should see it more because just because it's like okay oh yeah I yeah I know all about cars I love my car okay but like if all you've ever driven is a fucking Ford Focus you may know the Ford Focus up and down you know what I mean head to toe you have every part memorized everything like is in the back of your head you just you're a goddamn Ford Focus genie right right but but you don't know cars. Don't have an opinion on my. But don't have an opinion Lexus. on a. That's what I'm saying. You <laughs> don't know don't I mean? disrespect my Lexus because it has Toyota parts. B. You know exactly. I, yo, literally, exactly. <laughs> like, thank you. That's it. like, but that's, that's it. what I mean, and that's the shit that gets me tight. Cause like I'll post threads and I'll be like, oh, uh, you know, Goku versus whoever. And I'll be like, nah, Goku washing him. It's like, fam, <laughs> like fam, do you even know, like, 
<laughs> do you even know who the other guy is that I posted? Right. You oh know? my god. <laughs> you know? And like no, it's that you, it's you. that kind of thing. But like, yeah, I, I've never hated Dragon Ball. I don't hate Dragon Ball. It's just like I I think that it has its rightful place where it is in my heart. But I I would be lying to myself if I said that there was nothing better than Dragon Ball. Right. Oh yeah, of course. You know, it's like we have this we have this podcast, right? Like me me and Mills decided to do this this show, mm-hmm. um, and I, I Mills knows this isn't my this isn't my favorite anime. You right. know, like it to be honest, it's 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 barely in my top five, but like it's in my top ten. But like you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. Like it's not out of disrespect. It's just I have a lot of passion for a lot of different. Other yeah. Things, exactly. You know? and, yeah. Yeah. And your palate has grown since right. Dragon Ball, you know? Yeah. So it I doesn't think, mean I think it's bad at all. It. Yeah. yeah. And just so many different stories and things like that. But, man, I mean, Rainy, Charlotte, that was a great story, man. <laughs> awesome story. Thank awesome you story. so much. Yeah. That was a great story, man. I mean, for so for this season of sort of the lookout, we're here and we're covering Dragon Ball itself. And this is the first time we're tackling Dragon Ball on this podcast. Yeah. Because we've gone through we've gone through a few arcs of Dragon Ball Z. I think the first season was actually the first season was a tournament of power. We watched it live as it was airing. So yeah, this is yeah. like from last year. Nice. We've we done the Android, we've done Boo Saga, we've done Goku Black. We haven't touched GT yet. Who knows? <laughs> it's just a conversation that we've got to have with yeah, our listeners. Just one day. Point, it's like yeah. at some point, it's just like listen, GT. Yeah. But Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball is such to me like the distinct difference between Dragon Ball Z and maybe Dragon Ball and is and while they're both kind of this adventure anime, I feel like the genre of adventure anime is more strongly tied with Dragon Ball, and I feel like Dragon Ball Z and everything forward, I would say, is more action to the forefront um yeah, yeah i mean I, I i have the same i have the same feeling dragon ball to me is like watching a very very good sitcom like just a real like, like i enjoy this i'm getting my laughs off uh, you know they got the they got the hype they got some good character development mm-hmm. yeah but it, it i i enjoy it as a as a more of a sh- just like a show you know like it, yeah <clears throat> i think a lot of a lot of people's first experience with dragon ball like Dragon Ball, not right. not Z. Right, right. Is before they knew what like before they knew the the distinction between cartoon and anime. Right. So I think a lot of people associate Dragon Ball with their childhood as opposed to associating Dragon Ball with one of the forerunners of shonen anime. Right. So so you know what I mean? So Dragon Ball, I mean if you're from the United States, you a large part of people saw Dragon Ball after Dragon Ball Z. And we were talking, you know, before we came on and just about how our reactions, because yeah. Dragon Ball started airing, Dragon Ball Z started airing in the United States in like late 90s, 1990. Uh, 2001. The, well, yeah, Dragon Ball was in 2001. The, 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 the Dragon Ball Z, when it first started, the first couple episodes that were, you know, dubbed in English started airing like 1998, oh, 1999, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, things like that. So a lot of people have seen Dragon Ball after Dragon Ball Z. And, yeah. when, you, and when you see the intensity and the, and the, you know, you living through it and see people running and shooting beams and people's dying yeah. and exploding yeah. and all this yeah. other stuff, that doesn't happen in the majority of Dragon Ball. <laughs> no, which, no. Which, which, which was what I was saying, you know, kind of before we started recording. And it's like, when I was younger, I kind of looked at Dragon Ball like, look, man, I, I don't have time for this. Like, it's, it looks cool, but like, this Z shit is it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, yeah. I'm all in on this. Like, I'm, in, I'm outside playing with my friends, trying to power up and whatnot. Like, I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I don't really, at that, at that point in time, Goku as a kid and Boma getting her jokes off and, you know, all that, like, it, it didn't, it just didn't, it wasn't yeah. important to me at that time. You know what I mean? Yeah. The way, the way I see it is, the way I see it is because it is this way because it is this way for me. Um, I think if you saw if you saw if you saw Dragon Ball Z first, and then you saw Dragon Ball, that's like watching the Star Wars original trilogy first, <laughs> and then seeing the prequels. Right, right. Right. Because because right, you saw Dragon Ball Z, so you saw the intensity of the Raditz saga, right? You saw Goku literally die, mm-hmm. right? Then you go to Namek, the Ginyu saga. Who the fuck are these clowns, right? Right, right, right. Then you, then you go to Frieza. Yo, 
What in the <laughs> holy piss is going on? And then Goku turns blonde, full on Aryan race, like warrior, like I'm blonde glad haired, you said that. <laughs> blonde haired, blue eyed. Yo, Akira's got some weird shit to unpack, bro. <laughs> he does. You're Akira's right. got some weird ass shit to unpack, but we'll we'll get into that if you want. We'll get into that mm-hmm. later. But but yeah, fucking Goku goes Super Saiyan. What? Right? So all that shit is nuts. And it's just like Star Wars. Like, yo, this Vader guy, holy shit, what's going on? He's the toughest guy in the world. By by the end of Empire Strikes, uh, by the end of uh, Return of the Jedi, it's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, they beat him. Holy shit. Right? But then, but then, somebody tells you, oh, why don't you look at Anakin as a kid? Right. Check or, out the whole story. Yeah. Why don't you look at Goku as a kid? And if you saw D- Zeb first, uh, just like you said, bro, like, 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 you're not gonna fucking like, just like Jeff said, like, like, I don't got time for this. Like, I, <laughs> it's just I, not, it's just not, it, yeah. Like, I already seen all the juicy shit. You know right. what I mean? Like, but I think, but I think Ball, I think Dragon Ball is very heavily inspired by and closely tied to Journey to the West. Hmm. And I think that Journey to the West plays a very integral part in Dragon Ball. And that's always going to be what it was and what it was meant to be. It's not necessarily an action anime. Like you guys said, it's an adventure anime. Right. I think Z was focused more on the action. It's uh, Especially when you see the first few episodes of Dragon Ball. And I'm sure we'll get to that original arc eventually. Yeah. But you get to the... <laughs> you, you get to the and you, you're like you're in episode six and they're still meeting people <laughs> yeah, and you're yeah, just yeah. like what is going on here yeah <laughs> can someone impale someone through the chest already yeah but, exactly. but that's just because we seen z first like that, as an adult i really appreciate ball like i really do yeah and i'm not gonna lie it's just way different especially after where we are in super yeah you know what i mean you go way back and watch ball you're like wow this is incredible yeah you see ties between the two you're like whoa how they do yeah. this and you know what's even what's even crazier is People who read Z initially feel even st- more strongly about it than we do. Because mm. if you if you saw Z and then you backtrack to Ball, you're like, damn, this is nuts. Like this right. is like nuts in a in a like a bad way. Like damn, like this is like kind of boring. Right. Right. But but if you read Z, right, and then you saw how like how toned down it was for the television show, and then <laughs> and then you go back, like, bro, okay. Teen Gohan dispatching the Cell Juniors is yeah. fucking it, bonkers in the in the manga. It, in the manga, they make it seem as if Gohan is just a murderer. He's slaughtering them. Yeah, he's slaughtering them. He's, he's slaughtering, slaughtering them. them in the manga. It's, right. It's it's ridiculous in the manga. But then you go to the show, and it's like, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the dismemberment? Where's the? Where's <laughs> still the, really like, cool looking, but it's yeah, yeah but yeah. but ho- but bro, where is it? I know what you you're know? saying. Yeah, yeah. But it's like that, and it's like you know. So even for like for readers of the manga, I feel that way too. And you know what's funny? I just bought like Pokemon Adventures, the uh, first what? one, red and blue. Mills, yo, Mills. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on, Randy, Randy, hold on. Yeah, hold on. yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week, last week, <laughs> <laughs> last week, we recorded uh, the first episode of Mount Silver's Pokemon podcast. Talked about uh, Detective Pikachu. And I and I and we were talking about man, I really wish they you know they give us something more serious for you know people who grew up with. I'm, I'm 29 years old. I was eight years old when these games came out. I was in it. Like I yeah. got tattoos, like all that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, yeah, I would love a serious Pokemon game or you know a PG whatever. Yeah. Now I said, well, you know, Mills, check this out because if you you know if you want to like have something kind of like aggressive, check this out. So I sent him a picture of. Uh, <laughs> of Charmeleon chopping Arbok in half and cooking. Yo, that I'm saying, bro. <laughs> I'm and if people saying. don't understand, like how, like if you, if they look. I mean, it is. If you need some intense, bro, Pokemon, a ghastly, bro, a ghastly man. in in the cave, a ghastly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, no, uh, no, no. You're fine, bro. You're fine. A, you're fine. A, a ghastly literally possesses the corpse of a Squirtle. <laughs> literally in, in the manga. You think Fox Kids would have aired that shit? <laughs> no way. No you think, way. Man. You think Fox fucking four would have <laughs> aired that shit, bro? Right. Never, never no in a way. day, bro. Insane. Yo, the the Pokemon Adventure anime is insane. 
Like I mean the manga. I mean the the manga. Yeah, sorry. Peep like yeah, like it's insane. yo like Pokemon die. Like straight up, they die a lot, a lot, a lot, and and like, like holy shit, you know. Right, so Mills. like now, 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 Mills, you really got to check uh, it out. Yes, I'm, of course, bro, <laughs> bro. They, bro, literally a ga- I don't know if it's a ghastly or a haunter or whatever, but they like they're in a cave and there's a row of dead Pokemon, and these ghosts they possess their their corpses and they fight red, bro. You gotta read this shit, bro. I gotta read it. I gotta read it. Like, I'm, uh, that's it. I'm gonna that's read really it. Funny you, it's really funny you brought that up because we were just talking about it a week ago. Dude, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely awesome. gonna read it. By the way, by the way, Jeff, if you have not seen Rainey's manga collection, which he has shown on Twitter, oh my god, man. <laughs> yeah, it's I gotta a, check it out. It's, it's I mean, it's okay. It's a monument. Uh, it's okay. Please, <laughs> it's a monument. Thank you. It's a, it's all right. But yes, back to back to sort of the the simplicity of Dragon Ball. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I think more so, and and I think what I like more about Dragon Ball than the Dragon Ball Z, and trust me, I mean I love both, but mm-hmm. I think what I like more so what it has the edge up. It has this great charm to Dragon Ball. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, and it has mm-hmm. this like this sort of it's it's this light. It doesn't feel like you know it doesn't feel like something that's like oh my god I have to. It feels like something that's like it's easy watching. A the bit. the stakes aren't as high. The stakes aren't yes. as high at all. It's yeah. very easy to watch, like and, and just relax and watch. Yeah. I mean, after this arc, it picks up crazy, but yeah. it, 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 it's still like something that's easy, something that's manageable, something that's cool. It has legitimately funny humor in it. Yeah, but you know what's what's um what's funny is like that is actually one of my major problems with long-standing long-running shonen mm. like naruto dbz bleach one piece fairy tale my hero stuff like that like you know 100 plus 200 plus anime mm. is that when you start off so little right and so like when you start off with such low stakes like in dragon ball because in dragon ball it's just yeah let's just find the fucking dragon balls right and, Bul- and and Goku's like, what the fuck are those? And Bulma's like, oh, well, you get to, you know, make whatever wish you want, right? And, you know, it, it doesn't, it's like, oh, okay, cool. This, like, blue-haired girl just wants to make some wish or whatever. <laughs> so, like, it's cool, right? And the stakes don't feel as high. But then what happens? Then you meet, you know, for example, you meet Yamcha. Mm-hmm. And Yamcha, the wolf fang fist, his long hair, his getup, like, yo, who is this man? Like, Yamcha, if you saw Ball first, Yamcha is the coolest motherfucker on the planet. One of the yes, the, the Wolf Fang Fist is 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 unmatched. If you bro, if you grew up in the hood, like if you grew up in the hood and you had an uncle that watched Ball first, he'll he'll literally rant and rave about you to you about how Yamcha, how they did Yamcha dirty in Z. Oh yeah, because yo, <laughs> they never because, let it go, never let and it go, and they'll absolutely Still. never. I'm talking about the uncles that had a folder with printed out Dragon Ball Z. Pieces oh my God! All right, <laughs> under yes. the under the mattress. Yes, I, I know you know what I'm talking about, bro. I know what you're talking about. I know you know what I'm talking. I about. was that uncle, nigga. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> I was just yeah. I I also yeah yeah I know. But you feel me, right? So my uncle was one of those uncles. He's like, and he yo the Android Saga broke his heart, bro. Because mm. he's literally like. Oh no no not the Android saga uh, the Saiyan saga bro. The Saiyan heart. saga. Oh my god. Because yo, because Yamcha gets fucking dusted. Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> By he's like, immediately. He's like, yo, not my Yamcha, bro. Like By please. not even like a tertiary <laughs> character. It's like a <laughs> It's just it's a Cyberman. It's a Cyberman. <laughs> Cybermen are the scum of like, yeah. like this man's this man's a full time baseball player at this point, and and, and re- old relatives are pissed yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and like, and it's like that. And I, I think you know, I guess just to get to the point already, like that's my issue with with long standing anime like that. It's just like okay, in order for the hero to get better, you have to raise the stakes literally and mm-hmm. figuratively, right? So whereas it's so funny to me. Because I haven't seen Ball in so long. It's so funny to me to watch Tian Shinhan be so threatening. Mm. It's hilarious to me. Because I know what he becomes later. 100%. 
one hundred percent. And I feel like I feel like something with sort of Dragon Ball is a lot of the characters mean more in Dragon Ball, and it's oh a, it's so a, much more. It's yeah, a yeah. it's yeah. it's more of like them actually accepting that there is a universe of people, mm-hmm. and it's more than it's more than Goku, it's more than Vegeta, mm-hmm. and it's more than because Dragon Ball Z. You're like it's Goku, it's kind of Vegeta, and however you're an extension of them. Yeah, if you're yeah, Goku's yeah, yeah. friends, if you're Goku's son, if you're Goku's wife, if you're yeah. Vegeta's friends, et cetera, et cetera. It's kind of like that. This one treats the entire world as people. You yeah, get a few exactly. episodes with in different villages where mm-hmm. you get you know get accustomed to these characters. You get accustomed to the villains, and the villains also have other characters. But like it's an entire story. It's yeah. a full kind of like fleshed out story that's all a, that's. A, I wouldn't say story, maybe a full fleshed out universe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. a, yeah. The, like for me, it's so funny because like for me, like here's the thing, like I, I can under, I understand object objectivity in terms of like, like it's hard. It's, this is a weird sentence to say, but I understand objectivity in terms of art because art is supposed to be 100% completely subjective, mm-hmm. but let's be real. Mm-hmm. It isn't right. Because Naruto I fucking hate Naruto. <laughs> right. But but I can't deny that it has some of the best world building and the best character design in shonen history. Right. Yeah, you got to respect stuff like you that. You know what even I mean? You, like you got to don't care for it yourself personally. I mean, yeah. you got to see what's in it. It has the and for me Dragon Ball has some of the best sort of scaling. Mhm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. in, like in in shonen like in in all of shonen Right. It has it has the best scaling in all of Shonen, but you have characters that suffer because of that. Because while I was doing while I was doing my watch through in preparation for this podcast, you know, it's eighty four through eighty eight. I'm like, all right, five episodes bet, I got it. And and the whole time, because I haven't seen Ball since I was like seventeen when I rewatched it, like for the first time ever since my mm-hmm. uncle's VHS tapes. Um like I I straight up, I was like, yo, who does TN think he is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, yeah, like 100. 100- to be honest, it, it makes me wish TN was the man yeah, still. Like, yeah, yeah. Yo, <laughs> and, I, and I said out loud, like out loud in my living room by myself, I legit, out loud, I said, who does TN think he is? <laughs> yo, dead ass. Because I know what happens to him later. Mm-hmm. And like, that's, you know, I think that Naruto and and DBZ specifically they become a victim of their own success in that regard mm-hmm. because because you have characters like Yamcha who's like yo Wolf Fang Fist he's like the fastest guy Goku has ever fought right what the fuck is Goku gonna do right. then boom he gets stronger than him then Tian Shinhan he's a psychic he takes out a sumo wrestler by punching him in the nose one time one time one time and it's like. Oh fuck! What are they gonna do about Tien? You know, and then you fast forward. You have, you know, King Piccolo. You have fucking, and then you fight, and then you have a uh, uh, Pilaf or whatever yeah. and shit like that. And then uh, I, I almost said garlic. I almost said garlic. <laughs> <laughs> shout out garlic. Jr., <laughs> shout out garlic Jr. But um, yeah, you have Pilaf. You have you have King Piccolo. You have Piccolo Jr. at the very end of the series, and it's like, and it's like. Well, what the f- like? Where? What does TN mean now? Right. You know, and then like at, in Z, all of all of Z, TN is basically a bystander <laughs> until until Imperfect Cell, and he has to keep him back with the tri beam. Right. Hey that, man, I love that moment. I'm glad he got that moment. Yeah, too, I'm I'm 100. I'm so happy TN got that moment. I'm so yeah, happy. That was a great moment. It was a super great moment, and I think that that tournament sort of began the downfall of whatever the fuck Yamcha was supposed to be. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it is in a major way. Yeah. And, and we'll definitely, we'll, we'll talk about that as the episode goes on. But, yeah, as you mentioned, man, this Tian Shin, so Tian Shin, the Tian Shin Han Saga, Tian Shin, Tian Shin Han Saga, depends how you want to pronounce it. Yeah. Um, I saw it on Hulu, so it's Tian Shin Han. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw it on whatever website, so it's Tian Shin Han. Yeah. Um, it is. It is really. This is like to me, and and this is like harking to what like Dragon Ball is. This is like the most martial artsy ass 
arc and, and everything like that. Like it's a it's we got Team Crane Hermit versus Team Turtle yeah. Hermit, yeah. and it's like you know Master Roshi is trying to teach his students a lesson by dressing yeah. by impersonating as a, a fighter. Yeah. Um, there Jackie is, Chun. He's trying to you know Jackie Chun try to forget everything you know about Z. But, right? <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> for real. And Jackie Chun, I remember as a kid, like Jackie Chun, I get it. Like I'm like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like 11. I'm like okay, I get it. You're like um, oh that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's so many like this to me. It kind of like brings you back, and then this is why I love these tournaments. I love the first tournament too, but I love these tournaments because it just kind of it breaks it down, and it's like so less stakes, but it's so like. There's a part that's way more creative in sort of choreographing and plotting out these fights than probably you'd get in Z. Oh, yeah. Where, where it's 100%. like you'd, you'd beat a person, great, they're going to transform. Yeah, because when the, when the world's not at stake, right. you, ha- you have to tell a better story. Yeah, 100%. Where, whereas like if the whole world is at stake, then you don't have to rely on the story as much. It's just, yo, motherfucker, the world's going to blow up. You <laughs> right. You know? Oh my god, you're so right. Um, and then like you know, so we're going through this entire arc like that. I love the I love the beginning. I love all of them sort of showing back up. It's years later. I love the little like the little note of like Goku. Have you gotten taller? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Krillin's like he doesn't look that tall. And yeah. it's like <laughs> shout out like, Krillin in Dragon Ball too. By the way, I Krillin mean, is great. Gotta give him love, man. Gotta give him love yeah. in Dragon Ball. Well, I all do, right, yeah. So, so I was eventually going to go over this, and we're going to go over the characters when they get to the final eight, mm-hmm. um, and just sort of do like a little character profile type of deal, and like how we feel about all these things. But they go through the qualifying rounds for the tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, it's crazy. That's your first kind of taste of Tien and his power yeah. because he knocks out, as you said, the sumo wrestler one fight. He sends Nam, who was. In the tournament, the last, you know, the yeah, last round yeah. and, and had a long standing fight with Goku and almost beat him. Yeah. He, he sends Nam down and is like, you know, in the dub, they were like, yeah, he suffered brain damage and internal injuries, <laughs> yeah, but he'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> it's like, what? Like, damn, he's not okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be fine. And it's like, damn, Nam's gone too. I mean, sorry, Nam. He had a, Nam had to be a sort of tool to sort of put over Tien. Yeah, he was he was like a la- he was like a rung in a ladder for Tien kind pretty of. Pretty much, pretty much. Um they do a lot of great things. We see I mean a lot of characters and it's like even in the two episodes you see King Chopper. Like yeah. you get like, "Whoa, he's the guy who won the tournament last time. He's kind of tough. How's Goku going to beat him?" And you get kind of the character and personality of King mm-hmm. Chopper. Yeah. And then of course, you know, Goku does his thing. Bam, bam, boom! Kick to the head. He's out of here. Yeah. Um, so we get to the we get to the, the those are preliminaries. And I mean, is there any note you guys want to talk about the preliminaries? Do you guys have a particular moment you guys enjoyed? Um, shout out, shout out uh, the eight handed attack. Um, oh, yeah. But other than that, no. <laughs> yeah, for me, for me, it was just Tien knocking that guy out in one punch. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's because I was just like, because I was like, yo, like. Tien can do this? Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, is this allowed? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it was very different from what I remember. 100%. I mean, yeah. so now we get down to the final eight. I love this part of Terminator. It's just like, yo, only, uh, sure, we'll have a jillion people enter this, but only eight of them will get to the tournament. How do we determine? <laughs> That's it. it yeah. How do we determine that? I don't know. But like, <laughs> You know, only eight of them can join. So we get to the final eight. All of Master Roshi's students, including hidden Master Roshi, known as Jackie Chun, advances. Um, Tian Shinhan, Chao Tzu, um, Pomput, uh, and Man Wolf. Let, Man Wolf. Let's, let's, Man Wolf. Let's, let's, go, let's go through the characters a little bit. And we'll, we'll start off sure. with the, those who mean less than some. Yeah. Man Wolf um, is Man Wolf is my favorite. Man Wolf, talk about Man Wolf. Is he, <laughs> is, he is he a man that became a wolf or a wolf that became a man? See, that's the that's why he's my favorite. <laughs> that's why he's my favorite. Which one of his parents like, is the man? The <laughs> exactly, and which one's the, no? Because like, because like he he explains like what he is, and then right. Goku's, and then Krillin's like, hey, that's kind of what happens to you, Goku, and Goku's like. Eh, I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure. He's like, I'm not sure how I feel about that. And I'm like, damn, me neither, Goku. Because I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, it's like hey, the man. man Wolf is in BoJack Unbound too. He is right. He is. He definitely Yo, is. see, okay, I knew I wasn't bugging. I knew it's they the, designed him different. They changed the design a little bit, but he's. But in, it's the. But is he credited as Man Wolf? Is it the same get Man Wolf? I mean. 
It might as well. He's back right? in his war. He's back in his wolf form in Bojack Unbound, bro. It's definitely him. It's okay. gotta be. It's gotta be Man Wolf. Okay. It's during the um. It's during that intergalactical tournament. Cause man, he popped up at the tournament. Yo, cause Man Wolf was funny, bro. He was just like, yo, <laughs> I turned into a wolf of the full moon, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? I Humanoid the... wolf. Yeah, like, boy, if you don't get the fuck out <laughs> right. Of this, it's because, like, because where you, because, like, it's funny, like, because I, I think by this point, Goku has all, Goku's already transformed once before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did mm-hmm. at the last tournament. At the last yeah. tournament, yeah. And that's when he, like, ruined everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So at this point, it's like, man. If I'm, like if you don't get out of here with, your <laughs> with that half ass full moon power <laughs> right. shit, and it's just it's just like a nice break from, you know, the stakes up until that point because mm-hmm. you know, because because again since we saw Z first we know the stakes are way higher but for people who never saw Z, you know, Man Wolf is kind of a breath of fresh air and he's like yo. I turn into a wolf when the moon is full. Y'all better be careful. And, then, <laughs> and it's like, bro, you have no fucking Yeah, idea. you don't know what we seen, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Then, I mean, after Man Wolf, how do we talk Man Wolf? We have Pompa. And just a movie star guy, you know, some guy. Yeah. He's just a movie star. Really good Muay Thai fighter. Yeah. You know, kickboxer. Yeah. Super he, arrogant. He does his thing. You know, you always, the tur- each tournament has one of them, you know. Um, it's always going to be that guy. So each you know, tournament, yeah, each tournament has a Hercule. <laughs> <laughs> so Basically. we have Pamput over there. Now we get to sort of the 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 meat of it, the entire you know sort of the characters that we like. What do you guys think? And I'll and I'll start with this person. What do you guys think of Chaozu? Chaozu. When I saw Chaozu, Chaozu scares me a lot more in Dragon Ball than he ever did in Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, because they 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 give him some they give him true development. They give him some real care development that at least the time that they can. You know, I mean, first first of all, Dodon Ray, man. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it, the Dodon Ray. The Chaozu comes on this little clown, this little you know, uh, this sort of expressionless. Um, clown that's a just you know he's part of the crane hermit school um <laughs> attached to the hippotian for the rest of his life yeah his life. <laughs> for the rest he, of does, he does scare me a lot more in in ball only right. because he doesn't look human right like he doesn't he doesn't look or act or seem human i i love the the interactions he has with krillin yeah like okay it's like he's straight first of all you don't call small people midges. You don't do that. <laughs> you just don't do it. You don't do that. But, but like, he straight up just calls Krillin a midget. Like, he's, and, and then he says... And he calls him an octopus. He, and then he calls him Baldy. And he's yeah. like, you're bald too. And then he pulls off his hat. One hair. One hair. <laughs> One, hair. <laughs> One single hair, bro. <laughs> and, and, and my thing is, like, yo, like, what is... Ch- like, wow, Ch- because, because again, you know, I'm one of those people that saw Z first, so I saw Chaozu die on Nappa's back. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn, like this little like weirdo white clown mime looking thing. Oh no, I feel kind of bad. And then I see him in ball. And I'm like, oh shit, it's Chaozu, and he's a total dick. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, literally. Chaozu's they they like, changed his whole perspective later. Yeah, like Chaozu's kind of a piece of shit, and it's so funny because he's like, he's like, oh, you're bald. You're a midget, and you got this octopus man's asking head. math questions in the <laughs> middle of the match. Like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, oh my god! Listen, Chaozu is is just and, and this with a lot of characters that we'll talk about. It's yeah. just different than it is in Dragon Ball. Next person I want to talk about. Um, let's go to let's go to let's see. In terms of, I guess I don't know if I want to rank with importance. Yamcha, there we go. Yeah. Yamcha. Yamcha. Yamcha and Dragon Ball, and, and we can talk about the differences between them and Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and I think we touched on a little <clears> bit more, but Yamcha and Dragon Ball is infinitely cooler. Definitely. But, but this is <laughs> but this is the, the beginning. beginning. <laughs> yeah, this is the start right here. This is the beginning. I mean, if you want to even count, like, even the last tournament, he reaches the final four. It's a good showing, but he doesn't really get past Jackie Chun. But can you really blame him for not getting past Jackie Chun? Because no. Jackie Chun is Not mad. really. Yeah. It, so... But here, whew. yeah, man, I think man, man, I see what you mean with like this being the beginning of it because it's like, okay, it's like, okay, if you're 
like and, and again this like i guess this goes back to my my issue with long standing anime long standing shonen right is that you have to keep one upping yourself to keep people invested right so if you one up yamcha in dragon ball with tn and then you raise the stakes higher than tn in the same series Yamcha mm. can never come back never. from that ever, ever, no, ever, no. Ever, usually, I mean, usually in this sort of case, with sort of animes or cartoons or anything like that, Yamcha would have to get like some sort of transformation that takes him to yeah. like, mm-hmm. some next yeah. level. But he's a and, human, and, and, he doesn't. And I and, and I think and I think they they did it on purpose because if you watch it, I mean, for example, Goku, you know, not liking the beating that he ended up getting, yeah, you know, and 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 basically saying, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for you, yeah. I feel like it's 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 that really was the start. It's like they they put contest clues in there. Like yeah, you're gonna see him get his ass whooped a few more times. Yeah, uh, in the future. Yeah, but it's like yo, like what do you think is gonna happen? Like because of the structure of this show, it's like once once like once Yamcha takes that first L, unless Tn takes the L as well, Yamcha can never come back from it. Right. Oh, and especially, I mean, we'll talk about it, but it's especially in the way that it was done. Yeah. Um, next that we have up, let's talk about Krillin. Um, sure. Krillin in Dragon Ball is great. To me, it, I mean, yeah, he's great. great. He's kind yeah. of like, he has, I, I think he has way more personality in Dragon Ball and Dragon yeah. and then Dragon Ball Z. But one can mm-hmm. attribute that personality 100% to. He has died multiple times. <laughs> yeah. He is yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Dragon Ball Z has personified him as he has a fear of dying again because he's already died before. And he, and he died. knows. <laughs> and he knows what the other side is like. Yeah. He knows. Whereas, I mean, Goku dies, but he doesn't really have that same sort of fear. But he's also the main character. Like, yeah, but like, like but, but Krillin dies in very <laughs> bad ways, like ways you don't want to go out. But yeah, he dies pretty violently. Yeah, honestly. I mean, all the time. Literally, yeah. legitimately. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, violent every time. Yeah, every um, time. But pre death, <laughs> this Krillin, and I, and I guess we can classify Krillin as that pre death and post death. Um, inter- incredibly entertaining character, in my, I'd say, and, and kind yeah, of yeah, a definitely. great. Sort of, uh, if they chose to sort of continue with him being like a nice little one B to Goku, I would kind of get it. But he really starts to begin to trail off here. Yeah. Uh, and, but still, like a guy who's confident in his own abilities, who can hold his own, who is a strong martial artist, who is trained alongside with Goku, mm-hmm. who's done the rigor. Yeah. He he's, rigor- his own, he's his own man in Dragon Ball. Yeah, he's his also- own man in Dragon Ball. But even in Z, he's also like literally like it's canon. He is the strongest human being on the planet. Yeah. Like as far as human beings go. It's a great title to have. But, but what does it like? What does that mean really? Like what does being the strongest human being on earth? What is, what does it mean to be the strongest human being on earth when you're still like bottom three Z fighters? Yeah. Right, right, right. right. You know, because, and, and by bottom three, I mean Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha. Right. Like, because you're not, like, by by the time Z rolls around, we're not fighting humans anymore. Right. You know? It's just like, changed, man. It's all, yeah, it's all, it's all. <laughs> These guys alien, from space, bro. It, it's all aliens and robots. Right. That's, and li- robots, like, yeah. that's literally all it is for most of Z. It's aliens, robots, and then an actual demon. <laughs> 100%. Bro. Like, it's a, they, I mean, it's 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 once again having to raise the stakes every time. Exactly. Because we got to go from Earth, but suddenly Earth isn't big enough. So now we can <laughs> yeah. interstellar but, but you, travel. I mean, they decided to go ahead and give Krillin, you know, other things in Z to, yeah. to make his story worth it. You know, a family, a girlfriend, or just having a complex situations and having to do things you wouldn't want him to do. Man, I hated that as a kid. Yeah. I, I like Krillin. I, I saw the first time I saw the Destructo disc. I was like, I like that guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I but now everybody like, took his move. Everybody has his move. Frieza's yeah. so much cooler. Like Frieza, once Frieza did, I'm like, oh man, his shit. When dead. Frieza, when <laughs> Frieza did it, and his shit was purple. Yeah, I was like, yeah, Damn, oh, bro. that's that. <laughs> oh my god! It, but it, but Krillin in Dragon Ball. It's I a rooted treat. for Krillin. Yeah, yeah, same here. Hundred percent. Yeah, 
Same here. I, I rooted, rooted for Krillin. I rooted for Krillin because Goku seemed like Goku seemed like the uh, like the prodigal son, mm-hmm. and and Krillin was just a guy trying to do his best. Right. right, and I was like, "Yo, I relate to Krillin so much more than Goku. Goku's just good at stuff, and he's I'm gonna keep real with you. He's kind of a fucking idiot. Yeah, he is. Like, I mean, Goku, he's a lot of a fucking definitely. idiot. Yes. Goku, yeah. Like, but in, <laughs> in 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 Ball, he's kind of a fucking idiot. In Z, he's a total fucking moron. Mm-hmm. But but in in Ball, he's he's kind of a dumb kid. Yeah, and and Krillin, is and you can kind of excuse that a little bit. No, yeah, you. I actually don't mind him being so stupid and bald, considering because he's yeah, because he's he like six from. years old. And, yeah, right, right. yeah, and he's like, so, yeah, like I totally get that. But country but, born in the country is no, you know, training. Yeah, right. no, no, like no real schooling, like no stuff like that. So like, I get it. I guess that sort of carries over into Z and Super. Yeah, okay, you. Yeah, you, I, y'all got that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I know what you're saying. I, I definitely no, no, no. But yeah, yeah, the fact that he can have all these experiences and still be a major dumbass is kind of like, damn. Yeah. yeah. Like, because it, it even carry, it carries over to Super as well. I mean, in Super, now it's like slapstick comedy how, you know, dumb he how is. How dumb he is. Yeah. Right. Bro, in Super, he confesses. He confesses that he's never kissed Chi Chi. <laughs> we <laughs> talked about Gina's that. Chi like, uh, what's going on, bro? Never you kissed got, your you kissed, wife? Bro? He's nah, man. Kids. He's like, and <laughs> he's like, yo, Goku in Super is literally rich. The kid. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, shut it, we can fuck, but I can't lip lock. <laughs> like, oh yo, my god, you're dead ass rich. The kid, bro. <laughs> oh my god, listen, listen. Uh, after Krillin, I think probably in terms of just the top three of what they mean to this sort of arc, we move over to Jackie Chun, secretly Master Roshi. Yeah. Um. Jackie Chan, I mean, Master Roshi himself, way more bigger role in Dragon Ball than any other arc moving forward. They don't even touch him for, you know, everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, until yeah. essentially. Until the end. Comic yeah. relief, man. He's comic relief. Man. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. comic relief because he's a horny old guy. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Which is, you know, whatever. Well, that's a whole nother, yeah, that's yeah. A whole nother conversation. It, 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 you know, it is what it is. But Jackie Chan, he's kind of plays the role mm. of like the conscious. Th- through this entire thing yeah like the 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 wise man the man who eventually turns tian into what we know kind of tian comes today which is a good guy but it's sort of his words and his techniques and his wiseness that sort of carries you know dragon ball throughout yeah. um and he's also i mean just he seems to be like I don't know where his power ends or just like where it begins or things like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Roshi, Roshi is one of those like enigmas because in Super he came through. Mm-hmm. Came oh, through it. Dude. You would think that he's been training, you know, ever since. Uh, you would think that he was training since the end of because he didn't do jack shit in Z. No, didn't do anything not, at all. Not a single goddamn thing. And then in Super, he pulls up with them things, yes. bro. Like. <laughs> Like, are you joking? He still like, got it. He still got it. Yeah, exa- yeah. It's like, all right. Like, let me show. You know what I mean? Like, let me show these young whippersnappers that, like, I may be a hundred and seven, but you know, I still got it. And it's right. like, yo, like, what the fuck? Yeah, but I think, I think Super is getting better about that. And like, I keep, I, I, I keep hearkening back to the whole, you know, having to one up yourself kind of thing. But I mm-hmm. think. I think with the Broly film, I think they sort of figured that out a little bit. They right. They did, yeah. Because, because you don't see Yamcha Tien or Krillin anywhere. And even Piccolo, for the, time, for the short time that he's in the film, he's like, he's like, yo, listen, I would come through, but I'd probably just get in the way. Let right. me ask you something about that question real quick. What did you just say? Not that question. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, you know, with Piccolo, do you guys feel like Piccolo is on that same path? as what they've kind of done to, to Krillin and t- like, you think he's next basically mm-hmm. kind of like there's no power levels, but he has a purpose because of who he is and he's intelligent. He kind of knows all and what's going on. And when I don't, in trouble or will he have a moment again? I don't think, I don't think he's on the same path as Krillin and Yamcha because whereas Krillin and Yamcha feel sort of inconsequential, mm-hmm. um, Piccolo has that lineage of like, you know, Namix have always been the guardians of earth. Mm-hmm. So and he fused with Kami. He fused with Nail. He's okay. So he, you know what I mean. Basically, like, basically his 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 overall character development. It, it's already he, he's stable. He, he's it's set. It's set, yeah. Basically. And uh, I think um, I think it's it, it's it's. I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think 
it's canon actually that him at full peril full power full power wow okay him <laughs> at, him at full power fused with kami and nail is the same power level as super saiyan 1 i mean that that child should be in sort of the story i mean yeah um I mean, considering how long he lasted in turn of the power and things like that, that's why yeah. I think it should be. And then he's also trained since then. To me, yeah. Piccolo is always, especially sort of moving forward, he will always be used if they need a couple more characters. He's also the best black father in anime history. 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> we can all Without a doubt. Yeah, we can, all, yeah, we can always agree. doubt. Yeah. But he seems to be the guy. It's like Goku went to him and was like, Piccolo, how do we do this? He seems to be like a, a coach now. He seems to be someone just like wise enough in the art and skill of fighting yeah. that he can contribute that way because he's trained Goten and Trunks. He's uh he's trained Gohan. He's you know he's out there helping Goku and Vegeta you know find a technique how to beat Broly. Yeah. He has sort of a role in this, even though it's not the role of like actually killing or destroying or saving, but he does have a role in this. Um. Now, now, sort of moving back to this tournament, where we go from, I'm going to make it interesting. I want to get Goku out of the way right now because I think Tian Shin Han is probably, I mean, the arc is named after him. He should at least get last billing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. Um, Goku, once again, I mean, he's just a kid with incredible power. I don't yeah. even think there's much to him um, in terms of, like, the development and things like that. He's a kid who's always been incredibly strong, incredibly gifted fighter. He's gone to the next level. We don't know the full depth of his power until we see that it's truly tested. And even then he goes beyond that from time to time. Um, just thoughts on Goku and maybe in just in Dragon Ball in general. Um, I think, oh man, I think uh, in, in Dragon, okay, I think that Dragon Ball was smart in in showing our protagonist from the very fucking bottom, like right. the very bottom mm-hmm. of the barrel, because at least at least by the time Super rolls around, his powers seem justified. Mm-hmm. You know, Definitely. it's like okay, well, Goku should be this strong because he's he's been through Mercenary Tao, the Red Ribbon Army, like the the Raditz, the Ginyu Force, like Frieza. Sell, you know, like he sh- like Goku should be that tough. Yes. So I 100% feel like it's justified. Um, I think that I think that by the time Super rolls around, however, it sort of becomes more self aware, mm-hmm. and and Goku is just sort of like more in tune with himself as a as a person and I as agree. a character, as opposed to in Z, where it's like, you know. Everybody else sort of has to pay the price for for his shortcomings and stuff. Right, like, right. Like, oh well, sure, just get as tough as you want. Like, no, nigga, there's real people it's, here. Yeah, it's right. Real, it's real what the going fuck on. are you like? Like, bro, we don't got powers like you. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, yeah, gonna, like they're gonna blow our planet up, and you'll be fine. Right. You know, I I think it's all justified because I mean them telling us first of all getting getting the Saiyan story and what it means to be a Saiyan and uh, and they tell us like Saiyans get stronger as they as they as they battle as they fight that that is always a thing that they make sure we know about you know uh even in even in the even the Brawley movie you know yeah yeah. Vegeta states he's getting stronger right now like he are, they already yeah. know what it is they they want us to know that so i i mean Goku as far as if you're a Saiyan uh, and you can get as strong as you want. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. It's part yeah. of the show. It is what it is. I'm glad power levels are kind of you know R.I.P. So right. It is yeah. Exactly. Is yeah. Point. I think Broly Broly's top ten. Like, yeah. Broly's yeah. top ten. Yeah, uh, is, Broly the the film that film more effort went into that than anything I've ever seen from Dragon Ball ever before. Yeah, man, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. I agree. I agree. I, I agree. And sort of now we cap off this final eight, this final eight of the tournament with Tian Tian Shin Han. Um, I would equate him to if you've ever watched the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, he's when the Green Ranger shows up. <laughs> yeah, he is, and is just a dick to everybody. He's killing. <laughs> he jumps yeah. in the Zord, throws him Green, out. Green Ranger yeah. jumped in the Zord, and started beating him up, and started throwing him out. He was yeah. just for some reason he just entered and was really strong as hell, raising as much hell as possible. Yeah, um, he's an asshole. He's a dick. Uh, you know, I, I I would say that's sort of the, but he is sort of um. 
I think he struck. I mean, even from the beginning, even when they do that, like for some reason they're all out at night, and then Tien, you know, stops Master Shen mm-hmm, and someone mm-hmm. from fighting. I do think he's sort of someone who's struggling with what is actually right or wrong. Yeah. And that's how he just it, knows he's powerful. Right, right. And that's kind of how he develops through this entire arc. What are your guys' thoughts on Tien Shen on? I, I, lo- I love Tien. Uh, I, I think for me, watching it, it, it made me really wish that he could somehow just keep developing through Z and he had more moments. Um, I, you, and you know, he, he, he's, he gets fly, man. The fit has always been. We talked about the fit. You know how I feel about the green, the purple. You already yeah, know, right. Like, I'm all in on that. Oh man, the crane school, the crane school had drip. Yeah. Oh, easily. Man. The crane easily. school, the crane school had drip and a better and, and better hats. <laughs> Yo, are you kidding me? The the black crane on the top of the hat, bro? So hard. That shit went hard, bro. But I wonder, I want man, Supreme, man. Come on, man. What y'all doing? <laughs> Remake that. Remake that, man. <laughs> Yo, Supreme X Toei. That's the next <laughs> But yeah, I mean, as how I feel about Tien, like after revisiting these episodes for the purpose of this podcast, like I think Tien got kind of done a little dirty in Z mm-hmm. because if he was that cool the whole time, <laughs> should have like, been cool the whole time. He should, yeah, like you know, what I mean, like it, like that shit should have carried over. Yeah, it should, I agree. It shouldn't have been like, oh well, Raditz is here. Uh, good luck, Goku. Like you know, like what the fuck? He, like, right. he didn't seem complete pathetic, right? It, he, he's not a pathetic character to me, no, which is why I didn't no, no, understand no. why. You know, like I could yeah. see if they made him out to feel pathetic or 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 just weak, but they make him seem like he has a lot of heart. He knows yeah. what he's doing. He's skilled. So I that's I, yeah. I wish that he just they kept it pushing. It's yeah, kind of, and they and they cement that in the Cell Saga, right? It, mm-hmm. I mean, it's Maybe. kind of like to me. They could have done what they did with Vegeta and Z, where you have a true rival for Goku. Exactly. Someone who's going to always achieve and also exceed, sort of raising his power level and meeting that with Goku. Because by the time the next tournament rolls around, Goku's watching four of him. (laughs) Like, (laughs) like, at the same time. Like, to me, it's something that I think they kind of... They 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 rolled it a little bit too early on turning Tien into really one of the gang, and I don't really mm-hmm. think he needed to be one of the gang just yet. Yeah. I think it could have been by the end of Z, yeah. I think or the end of Ball, yeah. We could have had that sort of you know that sort of relationship, but yeah. sort of kind of turning him so quickly and literally by the by the end or before the end of this tournament, he's a good guy. You know, you know, it kind of went too fast, and I think they kind of ruined the potential that Tien had because Tien contributes a lot. I mean, the techniques that Tien has, we don't see in this tournament until we see this arc. Yeah. I mean, and, and just from the Crane Hermit School, they really sort of um, – it, it took it a little bit, and this is what I talk about with the, sort of uh, the importance of this arc, is that this one took it to the next level where – it became a lot more. It came a little bit more than martial arts. Yeah. Then it became like, oh my god, these techniques that he's pulling off, and like, how, how does he do that? I mean, he, the the solar flare, like, oh my god, like, right. it, it it's kind of crazy in terms of like how he kind of takes it to the ne- he takes Dragon Ball to the next level. Yeah, I a hundred percent agree. Um, I wanted to uh, initially when I sort of planned this entire thing out, I was like, "All right, we can add on sort of that thing," but we had to talk about. It. <laughs> I, 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 we got in <laughs> on the first match in this tournament. Is it the first? Yeah, I believe it is the first match of this tournament. I think it is. Um, the first match of this tournament between Tien and Yamcha. Yamcha, yeah. who's just yeah. his own shit. You can't even. <laughs> yeah, let's let's Man. not let's not act like Yamcha didn't put in work. <laughs> Yamcha's he out did. He, he, I mean, so I said this and sort of rewatching this, I was like, yo, this wasn't as like one side of it as a fight. Yeah, as I remember, right? As I remember, you remember the exclamation point at the end, but you don't yeah. remember all the words that came before it. Exactly. Yeah. And then wow, that was beautiful. But but, but, but it's because <laughs> wow. it's because it's because the exclamation point at the end remind you so much of Z. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, it, but but it you know, now. it's also because the exclamation at the point is giant, it's red, it's got yeah. arrows pointing at it like it's like 
it, it's it's one of those things because yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. you get Tien versus Yamcha. It actually starts off as a fairly competitive fight. And I love the choreography between this of like Yamcha's rolling on the floor as he's like trying to, you know, punch him and things like that. They're going back and forth. It's this real intense battle. My favorite shot of that entire fight is when they, they manage to cut each other on the face mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and yes. then the screen and the screen goes to a single red line yes. and it splits and one side is Tien's face and the other side is Yamcha's face. Bro, Z never did anything like that. No. Super Z, started toying like, with it a little bit in the yeah, tournament. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But but Z never replicated that sort of that sort of um ambition. Right. Like with, with animation. It's like holy fuck. Like this 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 gives you an idea of the stakes and the scale of this fight, you know? I mean, he he whips out his new Wolf Fang maneuver, yeah. the new yeah. the new joint, oh, the new joint, and the, <laughs> yeah, and the, and the flashing and the flashing between Yamcha's body and the actual wolf. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> because this Yamcha's is a, a like, this is, what is going on? <laughs> this is a martial arts ass <laughs> fucking you know show. Like to me, that's the difference between Z and thing. This is so martial arts. It's like it's crazy. It's that that the wolves and things like that. They're going back and forth. It's not like. And Z was like, "Damn, they moving so fast, we can't even see them." It's like, yeah. great techniques, techniques, techniques are not, king. Not energy, not energy. Techniques are king in Dragon Ball, and, and yes, strength matters too a lot. But yes, it's uh, they go back and forth. At some point, Yamcha gets a little bit best of Tien, and then Tien just like, "All right, I've realized he's a little bit stronger than I thought. It's time to turn up." Yeah, and boy, does he turn up on him? Yeah, he, he turns does. Up. Yeah, he turns he, up. Yeah. He turns on him like. Yamcha and I, we was talking about this before. Yamcha attempts is like, listen, I'm I'm going for it all. I got to go for the Kamehameha technique. And Tien's like, you sure you want to do that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you sure you want to do that? And he's like, I really ain't got nothing else to be honest with. Yeah, you. he's like, this is it. I have to. <laughs> he's <laughs> like, I know you're gonna see it coming, but this is like. I practiced this move like 80 times in the mirror. I'm pulling this shit out in this tournament. Um, he goes for the beam. Tien, I forget if he, I, he uses his power to he, sort of. Yeah, he reflects it. He reflects it. Yeah, he uses it to reflect it. And there's this, my, this is the moment. The moment during this thing where Yamcha's this face. Is the best. This, is one of the, this is one of my favorite parts. Where Yamcha's face mm-hmm. goes. You can, and I don't know if they dubbed this in like the English and didn't do it in, you know, the original raw Japanese version. But he lets out a, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's like. Tien's behind him like, it's a wrap for you. He's buddy. like, I'm fucked. <laughs> and Tien lays the hammer on him. And he, every kick, every blow, it's, it's with impact. It's with force. He throws him up in the air. The man comes down. Tra- I mean, <laughs> he already lost after that. The man flew 50 feet in the air and came crashing yeah. down on his back. He was already done. Yeah, Tien did some. He 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 overkill. He overbeat him up. Like he definitely was like, you know what? I'm about to flex right quick. I'm yeah, be, I think. I ain't even yeah, gonna do this. But and that's, I'm about to do it anyways. And that's what made me even more upset about his his sort of treatment in Z. Right. Because it's like, bro, like Tien was literally that guy. Like in ball, like he he literally embarrassed Yamcha. You know what I mean? He like embarrasses he embarrasses him. He embarrasses him. Od, and it's like. And in Z, first of all, first of all, TN has the biggest muscle mass. Yeah. In yes. all, like, TN. He's a cool is, looking guy. TN is physically the most brolic dude. <laughs> yeah, of the Z fighters. In one, Z. 100%. At, at some point in, gym. like. Where is it? I think it's during the cell the cell games thing where he's just wearing a tank top. He's just huge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, damn, you really you really still working out? Yeah. And it's like and it's like, okay, bro, like for for what? Like, you know <laughs> and, what then you, and, and then you and you go read power levels online, you're like, yeah, damn it, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he leans out in super a little bit. Yeah. And you know, things like that. He actually like kind of follows like in terms of if you follow this arc, you know what Master Roshi is like, I see you as the future. And yeah. then you get to Super and he is the future, essentially teaching yeah. the next crop of martial artists how to fight and things like that. Yeah. It's kind of cool. 
Um, but yeah, he straight up embarrasses him there because he sends Yamcha up, he gets him down, then Tian jumps in the air, mm. comes down, knees him, and breaks his fucking breaks leg. His fucking yeah. leg. It's insane. Oh well, my god. I, mean, it, I love I love broken bone scenes. Uh, you know, it reminds <laughs> me of my favorite, the the you know, Android 18 versus Vegeta, the broken arm hanging, just limping there, like one of my favorite moments. It's something like, they don't do enough. Yeah, they don't me. do it enough. Yeah, it, it's 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 dramatic. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, and first of all, besides somebody getting hit in their genitals, seeing somebody break a bone is pretty cringeworthy. It, even for, even for yeah. a cartoon or an anime. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. It's like, oh god, like god yeah. damn, like did you really have to do that? It's like, <laughs> yeah, like his, on, man. the animation is like his leg just rolls up in itself <laughs> out yeah. of like yeah. pure like. <laughs> I don't know. It is get shame. His leg is just like, uh. yeah. <laughs> he, leg is disappointed, man. He's like, oh my god. And, but it's not like he's crying out in pain. He's knocked unconscious, so he doesn't even feel the shit. Like that's yeah, how that's still, how embarrassing like, this is. He's knocked unconscious so much he's not even able to feel that he just got his leg completely broken into. This man yeah. Tien was officially wilding out for breaking he, a man's leg while he's and just there. and smirking at it laughing yeah at it. <laughs> yeah like like they they paint tien to almost be like the villain right like he's Definitely. almost Definitely. he's almost like the anti-hero of the tournament mm-hmm. you know because he's not necessarily a bad guy he's just trying to do whatever he can to get his school a badass man yeah right. he's just trying to get his school like recognized you know right 100%. but like but um i think i mean I think at this point it's like, I think at this point it's a pretty it's a pretty good note to end on. You think? Yeah. Like, I think I think for I think because I think Tn like Tn. If you saw Ball first, you get your heart broken in Z. Yeah. Yeah. Tn. You but do. if you but if you saw Z first, you realize how cool Tn was in the beginning. Right. One hundred percent. And it's, uh, you have an appreciation for him. The respect um, changes definitely. One hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, in terms of. Yamcha riding out on that magic carpet of shame. This is a great way to sort of end end things here with the Tian Shin on Saga. Um, Rainy, thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Seriously. Oh, yeah, of course, man. This thank has you been, guys for having me. This has been a great discussion, a great episode. I feel like half of it we didn't talk about the actual saga itself, but that's amazing <laughs> because it's just a bigger discussion on anime and how we, we feel made about it. Really good. And how I, th- I think so too. I think, yeah, I, quite I, honestly, I you made it look really, really good. Yeah, thank <laughs> you, thank you guys. So. Oh my god, thank you for. Where can they follow you? Because also, um, you, you, you're just hilarious. Thank you, bro. So, okay, so my most active uh, social media platform is Twitter. You can follow me at Rainy Ovalle, R A I N E Y O V A L L E. That's R A I N, as in Nancy E Y O V as in Victor A L L E. That's my Twitter. That's where I have the most followers. That's where I'm most active. You can follow me on there. If you want to see my art and stuff, it's at Ovalle Tattoos. I'm a tattoo artist professionally. That's how I wow, make most of my money. I did not know that. I'm about to really? pull up, man. I'm about to pull up, man. You, did not, you didn't know I was a tattooer? No, bro. Oh, no. shit. That's funny. It but changes yeah, that's, everything, man. That's me. Yeah. O-V as in Victor. A-L-L-E Tattoos. That's my Instagram. You can hit me up through DM on there. You can see all my work on there. Um, yeah, I like doing anime stuff, obviously. I like doing cartoon stuff. I like doing, you know, any any nostalgic kind of cartoon sort of fucking childhood 90s shit. Uh, that's how I make my money. That's how I pay for this house. And that's how I feed Godric. So, <laughs> thank shout you, guys. To you Shout out so, to you, man. Shout out to Godric as well, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. So, uh, actually, I had a... I had I had an idea for for how to end this episode. Please talk about it. I was thinking of you know maybe we just list off our top three our top three anime because oh, top ooh. top five top five gets a little dicey. So okay, it three, does man. it does. Mills, go ahead. You, you okay, cause, well because okay. my <laughs> list is very short. That's why <laughs> we only we only doing top three, so that's okay. We're top only three, doing yeah. top three. Okay, yeah. so I'll say this and sort of the things that I've watched. Oh, number three. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Gosh, I mean, to be honest with you, there's a reason why everyone gives me Dragon Ball shit 
at every <laughs> point of the year. It's okay, yeah. man. It, it I can't I can't not say it. It's, it's, yeah. it's Dragon Ball is definitely number three. There's okay. a reason why everyone gives me everything. I, I love this. Okay. I love this thing so much. Please, uh, also in the meantime, also please stop gifting me Dragon <laughs> because I've got <laughs> I've got so much now, and it's literally legitimately the go-to gift. I'm like I'm starting to think y'all don't even know anything else about me. Yeah. To be honest with you, <laughs> that's real. To that's be real, real with you, um, second, I'll say this. Jeff put me on Hunter Hunter. I like mm. Hunter Hunter a lot. Mm. Jeff mm-hmm. put me. Well, actually, you know what? No, I can't put Hunter Hunter. I also like. I really like. I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm I'm give world. Hunter Hunter to Jeff because I know that's Jeff. I like My Hero Academia a lot. Yeah, go for it, man. That's your shit. Yeah, know, hell yeah, fucking shit, do it. Mills. I enjoy yeah, that cool. so much, and yeah, I can't wait for it to come back in October. And I've read the manga mm-hmm. and I've seen what happens, so I'm ready to see what happens. I love okay. that so much. Number one, I think seeing Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which Jeff put me on, I was just like, "Whoa!" Because this yeah, was it's, like it's different levels. It's levels. Man. This was yeah. like, "Oh, this is where animes can go, and this is what it can do." And like, yeah. I'm legitimately sitting there, and I'm like, "I gotta leave to go to work," but like, I can't stop watching this, and and like. It's so crazy. So I will say that's my top three. Full Metal Alchemist, number one. Right. My Hero Academia, number two. Dragon Ball Z, number three. Rainy, I'm going to let you go last. I'm going to let you go last because you're, you're, you're our guest. But, All right, um, for sure, man. Yeah, definitely. Do you think? Uh, uh, number three, um, to me, I consider it a masterpiece. It's only about two episodes. Uh, Battle Angel. Um, oh, I love shit. Alita. For real? Uh, it's, yeah, it, it was one of my first nice. ever that I've ever seen. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, number two, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And Hunter Hunter, uh, yeah, I have Kamugi tattoo. I got Miriam tattoo. Uh, yeah, I love that, that you. It for me. I love that you don't pronounce the X. Yeah, oh, we don't do that. No, 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 I, we yeah, don't do I, that. But, 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 yeah, but, okay, but Rainy, but Rainy, but Rainy, I don't I, disrespect people who do. No, yeah, but I, I, don't I do a little. Them but, either yeah. I don't disrespect them either, but. I let them know, like, by the way, you're not really supposed to do that. You're not really saying it right, yeah. No. Yeah, but, but um, yeah. Okay, so I guess I guess for me, since I brought it up, I should probably know what my top three are, right? Yes, so, you should, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, number three, number three on my list. Oh man, okay, this is subject to change, but number three on my list is Cowboy Bebop. Mm, there, that's the, that's number three. I've on my list. I've been told to watch that. Yeah, you need to watch Bebop. Bro. You've never you've never seen Bebop. I've never seen Bebop, like ever. Not Ever. even, not even like nothing. A, no, not not even sure on Adult Swim, before, and it was still on television, and I forgot. Oh my god! But listen, watch okay. watch Bebop before the before the new Netflix series. Make sure you watch the anime. Yeah. Okay. okay. You definitely need to watch only because Bebop didn't feel like at the time. Bebop felt like a drama. It did mm. not feel. It did not it feel felt, like an anime. It felt like a space all. a space opera drama. Mm. It did not feel like an anime whatsoever. Okay, right? so that's my number three. Number two is Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm. Love Yu Yu, and that's Love only Yu Yu. and that's and that's only because of what it did for Shonen at the time. Shout you out know? to Gashi, man. The Yo, goat, for man. real, because shout because like because Shonen, you know, Shonen at the time was pretty much defined by, uh, you know, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Shaman King, pretty much like, like basically anything that was running in Shonen Jump by the time Yu Yu Hakusho came out, like mm-hmm. that was what the defining factor of Shonen was. And I think that Yu Yu Hakusho sort of subverts a lot of those things. It's like, because you know, in Dragon Ball Z, it's like, oh, well, Goku's an adult now and he has a kid, but in Yu Yu Hakusho, it's like, hey, uh, the protagonist is dead. Mm hmm. You know, so it's like, holy shit, what the fuck? Do what do you yeah, exactly. And also, and also, Kuwabara is the greatest secondary character of all time. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> of all time. I gotta, I, 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 man, it's, it's, it's really tough to disagree. And my, yo, and my first ever, like my first greatest, my, my pick for number one anime I've ever seen in my entire life, like my favorite anime of all time is a Netflix original. Hmm. It's wow. a, it's Devil Man Cry Baby. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh. my that's and yo, listen, I, I'm prepared for all the smoke because I talk a lot of shit. So <laughs> I, so I'm prepared for all the smoke. That's all but, we ask. But bro, <laughs> but bro, 
Devilman Crybaby did something for me. It just touched you, right? Like, bro, like, it did everything that I asked for in an anime. Right. It kept it short. It kept it sweet. It kept the stakes high. And it kept it believable. Mm. That's all I wanted. That's all I've and, ever and, and wanted. That, and that's really what it's all about. So if your favorite anime is Dragon Ball or My Hero or yeah. whatever, like that's, that's, that's you. It, maybe it, it's something about it. It touched you. And, yeah. and that's really all that matters, man. Really. As long as you do, as long as the anime does for you what you want, mm-hmm. then nobody can tell you different. 100 percent man hey everybody go check out the promise neverland that's all i gotta say (laughs) everybody go check out violet evergarden it's also a netflix original (laughs) i got no recommendations i'm 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 I'm, you know what everyone go check out the first episode of the mount silver podcast with myself (laughs) jeff and pat we're talking about pokemon we're going to do it's going to be a recurring thing it's not a we don't have a set time when we do it but when you when you get it it's because you needed it it's yeah. real life, but we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't play that. This is real. I've been this Pokemon shit is forever. Like this is this is forever for us. It so it's stop. not it's it not even stop. a game. Um, you can listen to that. You can listen to many other podcasts. We have several different podcasts. I do wrestling one called the A Show. Um, on RNC Radio Live, you can follow all the podcasts on RNC Radio Live. Rainy, thank you again yeah. for coming through, man. So um, much, dude. Th- this has been episode thirty. I mean, do you have any final words? Any parting words? Just uh, you know. Thank you guys so much for having me and to all of your audience and to all the listeners, watch more anime. Watch, watch more don't, anime. Don't that's it. Don't don't stick to the 100 plus 200 plus 300 plus 500 plus episode anime. Don't stick to those shonen. There is more out there for you. Watch Paranoia Agent, watch FLCL, watch Cowboy Bebop, watch Outlaw Star, watch literally mm-hmm. everything. Watch everything. everything. Watch all that you can. It's because- all there for you and it's easy to get. It's easy to get to. Because it'll diversify your palate and you will be way more knowledgeable. Trust me. Trust me. Watch more anime is the motto. This is the episode 35 of The Lookout. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.